Yo, what is going on guys? Savage Prison here back at it again with another Hunt Showdown spectating video. And in today's video, we're actually going to be going from Texas, US server, all the way over to Europe. We're going to be spectating European Hunt players in their natural habitats. And without further ado, lass uns das machen. Shout out to all my German fans. All right, we are in Europe. We've got some green tea steeping. And we're gonna be hearing gunshots. Let's see who our first spectator is. Dreamy D. His solo approaching mob battery. He has solo necro. Dully is quickly getting into some action with some hellhounds. Takes all three of them out. Very good job. Almost loses an entire health bar there. V6 Skywalker and his trio will be approaching Windy Run. Their first clue is in the second floor of this building in front of them. It looks like they will be getting that. Zatochi, Rise 12, part of the team. True Gun, True Gun Jammin, Jaman, is uh, looking for an early extract probably here. Uh, decided to get on the game accidentally. I think he is kind of just playing a relaxed game here. Very good job. Clean kill. Hold my borderline. Does have a glowing, a growling altar next to him. There is somebody next to hold my borderline. Oh, it looks like he's going to be on the second floor. He's got a Bornheim with incendiary rounds. Unsilenced. He is going to shoot. Miss two shots. Enemy looks like he drops down. He is going to rotate. Enemy is right under him. He shoots a crossbow, misses. Whiz right past his head. Can hold my borderline. Do something here. Will he be able to come out on top? Two solids. He will get shot with the crossbow. Unfortunately. He does have he does fortunately he does have Necromancer. He only has three large health bars though. FYI, you can change these in the menu, so don't forget to do that. When you're out on your hunter, you have a respec page that I forgot existed 600 hours in. Normally you wanna go four health bars at the end and one big one in the first one. So you'll have five total health bars and five total revives. He is gonna be trapped. Hold my borderline. It looks like he's gonna be holding his Necromancer. There is a trio in Salter's port. What was the name? <laughs> SO193 DP56 and Box of Hyena all on the same team as Salter's Pork getting their first clue. Dreamy D still solo. Uh, I don't know why I said still solo as if teammates fucking spawn or some shit. He did get his first clue. Dreamy D is making his way towards the center over here. Dully Crothemer <laughs> is gonna be burning the body. There is poison on top of him as well. It doesn't look like Hold My Borderline is going to be getting up. I wonder if he's still in the lobby or if he left onto the main screen and said, fuck it. Didn't even want to bother with Necro. He will be watching here. This is the uh, peak level gameplay we love to see. Looks like he's going to be here until he burns him out. The shots are being fired. Dreamy D is shooting. He is still on his first compound. Looking like he's about to get some... Juicy Martini Henry XP. But uh, he is standing on top of a roof, completely still challenging anyone who dares take a shot. He has lost a health bar already. I don't know. I'm not sure how. He may have had a run in with some AI. He is going to set off some. Don't tell me he's going to. Dreamy D is out here. Straight, ready for a showdown. He said, fuck the hunt. It's all about the showdown, son. He said, everybody come here. I own Maw Battery. Box of Ahina and the trio are on fire. I think someone mistakes were made. Frighten this meathead. This meathead looks like he's going to be running through the fire here soon. They need to be careful. They've lost two health bars. <laughs> Box of Ahina and SO193 are both barred out they've lost a total of health bars and there is a teammate down as well that they have to revive 
insane fucking gameplay. People losing health bars, not even fighting other people. <laughs> okay, this man is rank 33, prestige zero, so we do have to cut them some slack. They are still trying to learn the game. Drew Gun Jamin is at Wolf Shed Arsenal. He's found Scrap Beak. He set Scrap Beak on fire. Scrap Beak throws the wire of Concertina at him. Chunking a good bit of his HP. He will have to break the Concertina while stopping the bleed. It looks like he is going to stay at crouch position, not turn off any lanterns yet. He does see a player. Will he play it? Did he play it? That's the question. He gets hit with some more concertina. No, I don't hear any music playing, unfortunately. That, 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 may, that may have been a missed opportunity there to play some music while killing this boss. Let's go ahead and see what else is going on. The trio is approaching. He needs to be careful here. He is getting approached on. Right, I'm gonna keep my eyes on True Gunman. It is 1v3 here. That way, if one of his teammates kills him, we'll be able to see kind of what happened. Scrap, why? No, he needs to run away from Scrap Beak before he gets it obliterated. He's gonna have to run through the fire. He's gonna stay crouched. I'm not sure if this is a good place to be. He needs to, he is outside now. He will be able to kind of let fire down. There is a hive coming after him. True Gunman absolutely getting overloaded. He does get uninstalled. Does he have Necromancer? He does have Necromancer Gun Junment. Now the hive is going after the enemies here. Will he do an instant revive? It looks like True Gunman is going to hold. Zatoichi is going to be watching the body of True Gunjaman. Drew Gunderman got Scrap Beak's health down to about a quarter HP. Zatoichi is going to stay watching, make sure he's good, stays asleep. I will be unsteeping my green tea as this unfolds. And it looks like Scrap Beak is taken down by the third. Scrap Beak is now banished. Bodies are burning. True Gunderman has no choice but other than to revive and get shot down again. Unfortunately, he just has to play the Necro game or leave the screen to save his MMR. Zatoichi is going to take a break from watching him while his teammate covers. Dully. Dully is up here in Maw Battery, probably challenging Dreamy D, the big showdown master. Let's see what's going to go down here. Dreamy D take the shot at the wrong window. He's going to rotate above. Takes a shot from the outside. Dreamy D gets shot down. He's on top of the roof. He does have Necromancer Dully, Cr Dully Crothamer actually destroying him. He, this is the crossbow guy. He did kill Mr. Borderline. He does explosive bolts. Unfortunately, he shoots a little too low. He has to reload. Doesn't realize yet. Re he fucking. <laughs> uh oh. Dully pleading for his life. Please. Asking him not to shoot. Please. Please do please. Dreamy D does not want to have any friendly banter. He is not willing to team. Dreamy D shows no mercy. He does want the showdown. He is out for blood this game. You can hear it in his footsteps. Dully, he does not want to team up. I don't think so. Dreamy D, the way he was playing earlier. We know Dreamy D wants a fight. Dully is talking to a brick wall. No response. So Dully has no other option than to actually engage this 1v1. Dully wanting a wholesome interaction. Dreamy D is probably having nothing have wants nothing to do with it. Dreamy D is standing still. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe he is typing, trying to respond, or like check his audio settings. Oh! Dreamy D is second. I for some reason I can't hear you. Dreamy D did turn on his mic now. Dreamy D actually might start teaming with Deli Crothimer and Dreamy D, the ultimate team up for this duo. It looks like Dreamy D has disengaged. Duh, Dreamy D is not gonna engage. It looks like they are gonna be teaming up. What an amazing outcome. Deli relieved. <laughs> Very wholesome interaction here. They will be teaming. Unfortunately, they are far away from the bounties. 
the trio is approaching mob battery so they may have a fight over there but it looks like the trio down here at the boss location is going to be able to extract there is an extraction right there that is one of their best options right now is to get for that extraction they've got both tokens scrappy looks like it's going to get taken and extracted we're going to go ahead and see what's going on at mob battery here dully and dreamy d did just team up there is a trio approaching their direction Dully and Dreamy D are both making their way together south. They aren't going to have enough time to reach them. We could play together if you want. Sorry, I, I think I turned off my uh, um, in-game voice chat. Uh, do you know how, uh, what I, I got to do to hear you? Dolly is having some technical difficulties. Okay. He cannot hear Dreamy. Hear I have correctly. no clue, man. Let me check uh, game settings real quick. Dolly can't hear Dreamy, but Dreamy can hear Dolly. I can't understand you because your m micro isn't good. The trio did shoot some shots down here. There could still be a token at the sealed cache location. <clears throat> Fox and Hyena are pretty close, actually. This was a team that was having some difficulty trying to take down the Mihead. It looks like they're all not prestiged. And they're about to approach the solo, actually. So Dully and Dreamy here are about to get approached oh by God. the trio. They need to be careful. Yes, yes, I can. Uh, so Both of them are standing sorry. completely still, thinking it's safe around them. But they do have a threat approaching them behind them. They're about 100 meters out. They did hear the gunshot. I wonder if they're gonna run towards it. Dully and Dreamy are crossing the bridge. If the trio doesn't move fast enough, they won't be able to catch up to them. It doesn't look like anyone's going for the sealed cache location. They are gonna be held up here at Maw. Dreamy D and Dully are probably just shooting AI right now to get XP. They think it's just them left. The trio with the tokens have extracted. They will get out. Dreamy D and Dully working together. Awesome, awesome alliance coming out. So all players on this team are relatively new to the game. They will be holding a position. I'm sure SO193 did spot them from this angle. It is a pretty good angle. Unfortunately, he does not have a scope, but I'm pretty sure he did have the line of sight on the players that are over there. Dreamy D and Dully are over at that compound. What is it, Ironworks? Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna be holding up here. DP56, I'm not sure what these names are though. <laughs> DP56, what does that mean? Dreamy D and Dolly are getting into a situation. Dreamy D is at one HP. No way. Dreamy D almost dying. He's lost three health bars total. He lost two of them in the beginning of the match. I'm not sure how, but I'm pretty sure he just lost another one. Dreamy D and Dolly are gonna be making their way to the boss location, see if there's anything they can pick up after them. If they loot any dot hunters and then probably go for an extraction. Dully Crothamer. Who, who, what is that? Any Europeans watching this know who that is? Is that a reference to something? American brain cannot comprehend. Box Havaina and his team of numbers are going to be moving their way across the bridge towards Wolfshed Arsenal. It looks like they're going to take the same path as Dully to the extraction. There was an explosion that just happened over at Wolfshed. How long will they stay? at the compound because that's gonna factor in when this trio approaches behind them. Dreamy D is at two health bars. If they do get into this fight and he goes down twice, it's game over. It's lights out for Dreamy D. You need to be careful. He does have an electric lamp to blind people inside and in shadows. The team is gonna make their way slowly but surely towards the compound, taking it very cautiously, cautiously rightfully so. You could still check if there's a token at the sealed cache because there is. this is solo trios. We are in Europe. There was only one boss. There could still be a token at the sealed cache. Not sure if we'll find out this game. The team of numbers are spreading out. Dreamy D and Dully look like they're making their way Dully, I think, is already out. Dully has extracted. 
Dreamy D is the only one left. He will be following up shortly after. Dreamy D is going to get out relatively pretty sa relatively safely. This trio is moving up, but not fast enough to catch him. They think they're in. They think he's inside the compound. I saw 193 is going to take the cautious route here. Make sure there's no one up there. He will take the lead on this front. Dreamy D extracts in two, one. He will make it out with some health bars. Great job. Now, this is the only team left on the map. There are no tokens left at this compound. They are going to breach and clear it. Make sure no one else is alive. They are approaching this very tactfully. Is it tactfully or tactically? I don't know. Or both. SO193 really taking everything and enjoying the atmosphere that the bayou has to offer. You know what I want to hear? I bet you these three people are in a Discord right now. And I am just dying to hear what they're saying. I want to hear the comms. It looks like a box of hyenas numbered teammates are going to leave without them. They're looking to extract... Box Hyena is going to still keep exploring. Hyena will take his time to clear this compound, make his way towards his teammates and towards extraction. Unfortunately, no one will be able to check to see if there's a token here. Unfortunately, it looks like Hyena will be able to catch up with the numbers. They're about 20 meters away from extraction. Hyena has the concertina bomb armed. He's about to arm it to cover his tracks. Slow the opposition down just in case. Team Extraction in 30. It looks like they're going to make it out pretty safe. Unless another meathead comes out of nowhere. Absolutely phenomenal performance coming out from this trio. That is their first few times playing the game. There are no prest zero prestige. Still in the ranks. Good job. Good plays. Yo, Europeans. Yo, they kind of popping off a little bit. All right, guys, here we are at game two. Yo, I heard Germans like beer and sausage. Is that true? Rubber duck at Cypress Huts gets the first clue. The map closes into the southwest side. Remedy 76 at Port Reeker. Holding it down, crouching in a corner. Chill as a sloth, relaxing in a hammock. And now he will be moving towards his first clue. He does have the fanning trait. Remedy 770. 77, we got a duo here, Exora. And his teammate Virustron is a little held up at the compound at the first clue. His teammate is going to leave without him. Warrior Hunt Show. Unfortunately, his, I think his name gets cut off. I think he's going for Hunt Showdown. Warrior Hunt Showdown. Him and his duo are at the top left side of the map. Jay is his teammate. V Crow. <laughs> All right, V. Velcro. Velcro? Velcro -o? is at the slaughterhouse solo. The guy silence chilling on the bottom side of the map. Piao. Day is gone. Absolutely amazing game is his teammate. Imaya Muljum Dao. This is the guy that I was spectating the other game. He is still AFK. I right, hope we got an AFK. Imaya Mul Muljum Dao. Um, it doesn't look like Imaya is gonna. What the fuck? As soon as his teammates die, he kills himself. A month later, he's not playing the game, but is just searching up and just... <laughs> there are going to be some explosions going off. I think it's uh, I think it's whoever was at the boss, almost. Rubber Duck has made their way to their second clue. Remedy 76. Still strolling through Port Reaker after getting his first clue here. Exora is now turning it back around with his Virustron. Virustron electing to go to the sealed cache location. Meanwhile, Warrior Hunt Showdown and his teammate Jay will be making their way out of the waters towards Blanchet Graves. V Crowo has found the boss. He does not have Necromancer. He does have one life to live. You gotta live it to the fullest. Life is war. He's got the assassin down to half health. V Crowo doing a great job. What's up with the rectangles on the name? Piao. They are going to be spread out here. Piao and his teammate. Days gone. Actually, they're staying together. Imaya Muljom Dao. Still AFK. Rubber Duck has found a supply station. He will be going for the clue here at Healing Waters Church. Rubber Duck will set off the crows. 
Remedy has footsteps around him. It is the it is Days Gone and his partner right next to him. Remedy is gonna choose not to engage and stay hidden. Does not want conflict. He will take out the silenced weapon and try to take a shot, maybe. He does try to line it up. He can't find a good angle. Takes a random shot. Luckily, it was a silenced weapon, so it is hard to tell where shots do come from for silent weapons. But it looks like the duo is just going to take cover inside of the compound. Remedy not having an angle. Exora and Virustron are crouching. They may come in contact with the person that was down at the uh, supply station. v -Crow does have the boss to himself. Piao and Days Gone is the duo that walked past. Rubber Duck is going to be approaching the compound here. The boss layer, V Crowo, now has to be careful. Rubber Duck does need to heal up before going in, unless he actually just wants to go in. Two bars down, raw bar in it. We'll go ahead and see how Rubber Duck approaches this compound. The boss layer is yet to be contested. V Crowo is the only one in there. It looks like Rubber Duck is going to take a rotation angle. Not sure which angle he wants to approach the compound and it looks like he's going to take the west west approach from the cornfields. He is aggroing monsters, making noise unfortunately. Remedy 76 is me moving into the compound that the duo was in. Exora and Virustron are slowly but surely going to be making their way towards the slaughterhouse as they get their clues. Warrior Hunt Showdown are... The furthest one's away from it right now, but eventually they will close in. V Crowo almost has the assassin killed. He will flash it, will flash red. Let's go ahead and see how, what's his name is going to approach it. Imaya Muldrumdow still AFK from a month ago. Rubber Duck. I think he saw, he actually may have seen uh, V Crowo right next to where that red barrel is. I'm not sure if Rubber Duck is out of heels or not, or has just forgotten to. I would assuming he didn't he hasn't forgotten or he just hasn't realized but I'm pretty sure rubber duck There were shots fired Rubber duck is gonna get shot at bullet whizzing past his head. He will get one shot. He does have necromancer It looks like V crow was able to put rubber duck down Unfortunately rubber duck just got deflated no longer swimming. He has sunken underwater He will hold his necro out for a little bit. I wonder if he'll use it V crow is gonna watch Exora is going to be coming up behind V Crowo. Or not behind, but they will be approaching the compound. The boss layer is directly in front of him. His teammate is taking shots. Virus Tron. Let's go ahead and see what he's shooting at. He may have had an angle on someone. Virus Tron does not have bullet grubber. Takes the reload anyway. Wants the full clip. He thinks he saw someone in the window. I didn't see anyone up there. I don't know. Sometimes those windows can be misleading. Warrior Hunt Show, they are approaching soon. They will be coming up behind the other duo. V Crowo is still watching the Necro body. Unfortunately, it's the only thing he can do. He does not have any burns. There's nothing he can do to make sure that body stays down. This is a tight spot for Crowo. There is a duo approaching from the other side of this, this compound from him. And it sounds like there's gunshots going off. Piao. Day's gone. Who are they shooting at? Yeah, is the dual, the dual revolver. He does get the shot on him. That was a little bit laggy on my end. I'm not sure. That was a little, that looked a little weird. He like died like two seconds later. It might be my ping. My ping is like over a hundred right now. Ooh, Piao with the amazing reload. Day's gone. is gonna run away. He might have mulled him down. Rubber Duck is back up. He's got the Necro. He does have, he did have an angle. Unfortunately, he misses. He is now one shot Rubber Duck. The other guy, V Crowo, is missing his shots as well. The ultimate battle is ensuing right now. Rubber Duck, will he be able to seek vengeance? Oh, all out, bro. Rubber Duck is now one shot. He is poisoned. Ah, oh, and he goes down yet again. The fight is still going on outside. Piao is about to approach the duo that's in the bushes directly in front of him. He's got to be careful. He does get shot at. More than half his health is gone. He will, he will take cover. Piao is hiding behind a tree. Takes a vitality weak shot. He needs his teammate to come approach. We do have altars roaring. 
Piao and his partner Days Gone have encountered the virus Tron and his teammate. He will have an angle through the trees. V split levering through. He will be able to land some poison damage on him. He flips to the revolvers. Amazing shot coming from Days Gone. Puts down one of his teammates. There is still a, he still does have a duo partner up. He needs to be careful here. Piao is gonna rush in. He is out in the open. Enemy takes a shot, misses. Sounded very close. Piao does know where he is now. Will try to make his way over there without getting a shot at. He will be able to get close enough to pop him in the face with the dual revolvers. Amazing, amazing play coming out for this duo. Piao and Days Gone will take that duo down. And now they will be trying to approach the compound where V Crowo was. Remedy76, where is he at? Remedy is farming the map, doing what he needs to. Piao and Days Gone are gonna start to breach the compound where the boss is. Is banishing right now. Imila still AFK. Wait a minute. Where is V Crowo? What happened to V Crowo? Oh shit. No way. Dude, Rubber Ducky and fucking V Crowo, they traded. They had to have. Because v, v Crowo did not have Necromancer. I remember seeing that earlier. He did not have Necromancer. So V Crowo is probably down from Rubber Ducky. Days Gone and Piao are the only ones here. They are the only team left. Their teammate is being a shithead and just completely AFK. This is the second time I've seen this guy. Piao and Days Gone pick of the bounty. Their extraction is about 200 to 300 meters east of them. It looks like they will be safe enough in terms of hunters and enemy hunter threats in the vicinity. They should be all clear. Great job coming in from Days Gone and Piao. Unfortunately, their teammate will be able to get a portion of their XP or will be able to get the same amount of XP they, they've gotten. I'm not sure if he'll get token XP, but even still, he'll get like the monster XP and everything. All right, so it looks like they are going to extract. We'll go ahead and watch Imaya mold him down, see what he does as soon as they extract. He actually goes according to plan. You can hear the countdown. Piao extracted a bounty token and Days Gone have extracted a bounty token. Imaya Muljimdao is the only person left now AFK on the team. Does get the head to extraction. All bounties have been popped. Imaya Muljimdao isn't actually going to be doing anything. Remedy sees the screen. Now he has to rush to an extract to save his hunter. He's got five minutes to get to an extraction, but he's at the middle of the map. Will he be able to make it? All right, I guess he's not going to kill himself. I was wrong. Go ahead and see if Remedy76 will be able to make it out alive with his hunter. It looks like he's going to choose the southeast extraction. He's got four minutes to get there. I think he will be able to make it if he does talk, does take no stops. It shouldn't take longer than five minutes to go from center to outside. Will it? I don't know. You guys tell me, how long does it take a person with no stamina shot? How long does it take to go from the center to an extraction point? That's equally distance far away, I guess, from a corner. Slightly offset. Oh, I heard the explosion. Imaya... Imaya Muljimdao just did kill himself. I can't spectate him. Remedy is the only one left on the map. Imaya Muljimdao. I wonder if I can report him for that. Because that's kind of shitty behavior. I'm not going to lie. You're just going to be... Uh, <laughs> that's really shitty for his teammates to experience constantly. It leads me to believe that's, that's all he's doing is just going AFK as soon as... All right, Remedy's got two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. He is about 100 meters to 75 meters away from extraction. Water Devils are nearby. It looks like he will be able to make the time limit. Unfortunately, there was no... I don't think there was a bounty token at the sealed cache. I think it was a master clue. Even still, he did not have the pledge points for it. He is the only one left on the map. We will destroy the altar to make sure he gets a little bit of more event points. 21! It goes on, woman. Remedy76 celebrating his win of surviving the bayou with some more XP on hand. He will make it out. Amazing, amazing game. All right, how do I report that one guy? Let's run it back. All right, hold on guys. Uh, before I get into game three, it is 4.20 PM. So you know what that means. I'll be right back. <coughs> All right, we're back. Uh, 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 uh. 
Hello? At Tremendous 13 at Cypress Huts getting his first clue with Serpent. No Necromancer. He is solo. Slotty Liam Nielsen at Scarper Lake with his teammate. <laughs> Hey, it's Patrick is his teammate. Amazing duo combination name. Zaddy, Dorito, and the trio. Pacha, Cheesy Meltbox. We've got amazing names coming out this game. Subtle Katana Na. What does that mean? Is Solo, he did start by the boss area. The Chapel of Madonna Noir is where the assassin will reside. We do have a team up here at Scupper Lake, so they could be making their way over here pretty soon lactose tolerant and his trio are at elaine sons and fish upset banana is the teammate phoenix is the third a tremendous still at cyprus not sure what to do he is just gonna take a shot at the meathead shoot the yellow barrel to set it on fire to hopefully help kill the meathead but the meathead is nowhere near that fire he's also shooting at the meathead to attract attention so that the meathead doesn't even go over there he's just gonna be keep shooting slutty liam neeson and his teammate are approaching the chapel where the other person is let's go ahead and see what's happening we're gonna go ahead and watch slutty here He's gonna wait for his duo to come up. Very good job. Tactically, he sees that it's flashing red. He knows there's an enemy here. His duo is gonna rotate on the other side. Looks like Slutty is gonna take the left side, east side location. Looking like a potential breach in from the outside blitz. Very good job. Slutty was making his way in. Slowly but surely. He will be walking in, no sprinting. Very good job. I don't want to switch to the solo in case something happens. I will switch to his teammate. Hey, it's Patrick. We'll be closing in. I'm trying to figure out what that where that solo was. We'll be crouch walking in, both of them. Hey Patrick takes the lead on this situation. Slutty Liam Neeson will follow up behind him. I think they heard him melee. He is, it sounded like he was on the west side of this compound, this building. Hey, it's Patrick and Slutty Liam Neeson will be taking a tactically tactful approach, just making sure to sweep every corner. And it looks like they're just gonna exit instead of continue further investigation let's go ahead and try to see it now that we have some time where that solo was solo katana is underneath he will continue to try to beat down the assassin the assassin has not lost much hp but he only has six crossbow bolts i wonder if he has another type of arrow or if he's just been shooting a bunch of them he is baiting the assassin into the fire to increase the damage. Good job, good job. He does take a hit. Luckily, he does have the regen shot, but he has to be careful here because there are there is a duo looking for him. He is looking at the lantern over there, deciding whether to shoot it or not. <laughs> He's like, if I shoot that lantern, will that barrel go off? Oh, you could tell he was just thinking. He had the intrusive thought for real. Yeah, he is just going to chill and... Try to take this assassin down. He isn't gonna be flashing his dark side to try to check if there's any trouble. Lactose tolerant is taking damage from something. They are they have come in they have come in contact with someone. The altar was growling. Upset banana. Phoenix. They hear the player. Phoenix is gonna, gonna run for it. Zaddy Dorito is coming in contact with that trio that was over here. So we're just spectating. He's at quarter HP. Pacha is trying to look for them. Wait a minute. This is a trio versus trio. Pacha, here's someone to his left, to his right now. To his left. I'm not sure he. He's about to get shot in the back. Is 
This is scary. Like, I feel like I'm about to get shot in the back of the head right here. Uh oh. I'm surprised. We'll be taking a slow approach. Let's go and check on Cheesy Mel. There are shots fired somewhere. Subtle Katana still in the same spot. Lactose Tolerant and his team are holding down into the bushes. Whereas the other trio is inside the compound. A Tromentos 13. Finding his way around. Slutty Liam Neeson and hey, it's Patrick are up here. Unfortunately, I think they're they don't want to go downstairs It is a little bit scary down there. The enemy could be anywhere. He does have a stalker beetle Pacha and the trio are in the building meanwhile the enemy trio is in the bushes where the swamp is on the other side of the fence Settle katana -na. Is coming in contact with the enemy duo Slutty Liam Neeson and hey, it's Patrick Versus subtle katana -na. Subtle is at half HP regenning his health Throwing explosive bolts, so he does have a different type of arrow I'm Gonna switch back to regular and then switch back to explosive very good job Background noise extremely loud. <laughs> it's like permanent dark sight noise. He does have some concertina, I believe that was. Sound is off now. You can play some sideways like that. I know that. That's crazy. He does have to find the right spot for it. <laughs> He's struggling. He's like, oh shit, it worked the first time. There he goes. He found the right spot finally. They can just walk past that though. <laughs> <laughs> if they see it Upset banana one of their trio partners is down Looks like he's gonna go into stalker beetle mode taking some reconnaissance upset banana His teammate is on the third or the second floor of that building Now on the roof his teammate is gonna have an altercation. We've got a bird's eye view of the fight happening a melee fight Amazing work! I believe that was a tomahawk. He gets popped in the side of the head. <laughs> Upset banana just watching his teammate get obliterated. Not even that. He just fucking takes it to his feet, blows up the stalker beetle, and now he has to rush up the ladder. He's struggling to find the button to do it. He is level 33, zero prestige, trying to do the best he can here. Hopefully, he knows that the pipe to the left will lead him up there. He is gonna have a dynamite stick ready for the enemy. Throws it up there. Hopefully, it doesn't roll down. Don't get too close. He is safe from the sh the blast radius of the dynamite. He does have an angle. They don't see him yet. He shoots the enemy, but the other the person the teammate shoots him down. Upset banana. It's lights out for him. They do have a third, I believe. Zaddy Dorito is the teammate that just got revived. We're gonna go ahead and watch this trio fight. Zaddy Dorito and Pacha and Cheesy Meltbox are the trio that kind of came out on top there. And it looks like they did wipe the trio. Good job. Atramentos 13. So laid back, they might as well be horizontal. Back to old slutty Liam Neeson and his duo partner. It looks like they're just gonna run away from the compound, not even bother with the assassin. They're gonna go ahead and give that. They're gonna go ahead and decide to try to find the other boss instead. Very good job from Zaddy Dorito and his partners for taking out that trio. We didn't get to see all the kills, but we saw uh, we saw that amazing stalker beetle play. Yeah, that was a crazy. I think uh, his teammate when he was in the stalker beetle, the guy that was using the stalker beetle when he was in it, his teammate was running up, fucking bum rushing the dude with the I believe it was a tomahawk. He had an axe or something. He was trying to like slice him up with the axe, but then ends up throwing it and destroys the opposition. Those are always the most satisfying plays is when you get a throwing knife or axe kill close range on enemy hunter. The assassin is gonna be banished from. Subtle katana. It looks like the trio is just gonna extract, I believe. Atramentos is playing his own game. He's play he's got tower defense mode on. Slutty Liam Neeson. They find the other boss, which is literally right next to the other one. Almost. Alright, uh, looks like Spider is at almost lethal range. Looks like they're gonna be taking it down pretty easily. The trio is now gonna be closing in, actually. They're gonna be closing in on Lock Bay Docks. This trio that just wiped the other trio 
They better watch out for Pacha, Cheesy, Meltbox, and fucking... What is this trio's name? And fucking Zaddy Dorito. We got fucking Cheez-Its and fucking Doritos on the same team. Spider is now banishing. Slutty Liam Neeson and hey, it's Patrick are getting approached upon here by Zaddy Dorito and Pacha with the Cheesy Melt Bucks. They are going to take a second to kind of plan out their strategy. Subtle Katana is by himself. He will have this entire banishing to himself unless the trio decide to go for that one instead since it is closer to banishing 58% on the assassin to 20%. There are shots fired. Zaddy Dorito. I believe uh, Mentris 13 is still at Healing Water. I think that's the gunshot that we heard. They are going to take a crouching angle from the outside of the fenced area. Using the foliage to their advantage. Unfortunately, the emulator does get aggroed. And will give away their position if... No, no, he shoots the emulator. What is close up? And they're getting shot at. The emulator is down. They needed to find some cover. Zaddy Dorito is going to completely stand still and start trying to stop his burn. He is ranked 2, prestige 0. This is his first game. we got to go easy on him. Still trying to figure it out. Not sure where he was getting shot from. And unfortunately, he goes down. Pacha is going to be on the backside of the team. Cheesy Melt Fox is going to try to make it out. He gets shot at. Cheesy Melt and Pacha are going to regroup. Subtle Katana has the tokens to himself. Cheesy Melt and Pacha are now going to be sprinting forward a little bit. Trying to move in. Hates Patrick's got a scoped weapon. He will be able to snipe them from a distance. He is going to about he's, he is about to scope in on him. He just has to look right. Yeah, there you go. Not right, but like right in front of him. He does see him. The enemy is trying to find an angle. I believe that's Pacha. Pacha it does have an angle on Slutty and Liam Neeson. Hey, it's Patrick. Does have an angle. Does he, he does miss the shot, unfortunately. He does have another shot about to be lined up here. You just have to wait for him to poke his head out for a second. He should be able to try to get a shot. Oh my god, it peaked. It peaked out for like a second. Oh no. He is behind the stacked plywood or whatever the fuck. Tro tokens are about to drop. He's going to choose to unscope and go for the tokens and maybe the revive on slutty Liam Neeson. He needs his partner. He grabs the token. Will he use dark sight? He doesn't need it right now. Slutty Liam Neeson is back up. They will take it inside. Let's go ahead and see what they're going to try to do here. Patrick trying to line up a shot. Makes a shot, misses. One of the most tense situation sniper battles I've ever seen here. He does have a lineup of shot and the angle is gonna hit. Unfortunately, it is not the head. He shot him in the shoulder. Hey, it's Patrick with only four bullets left. Will he be able to? Make out Pancha. Shots are being fired somewhere else. Atramus is at the sealed cache location, setting off some birds. Subtle Katana is going to make it out with a bounty token. Good job. Taking that dub home. Cheesy melt box. And Pacha. Pacha is the one that I believe got shot. And it looks like Hates, Patrick, and Slutty Liam Nason are going to make a run for it in the opposite direction. Very good play. But this is not a good spot to be in for Slutty Liam. He is going the full taken route. He does not give a fuck. He is going to be the man in this situation. Oh shit, that shit was some loud. He will heal up. Amazing, amazing display of determination coming in from Slutty Liam Neeson. Atramentos 13 is now actually going for the abandoned bounty token from the assassin that the solo picked up. Subtle Katana, Cheesy Meltbox, and Pacha. Pacha's gonna be trying to get a closer angle. Meanwhile, Cheesy Meltbox. Not sure where he's going. But Patrick. Patrick and slutty Liam Neeson are going to go for the Southwest Extraction, it looks like. It looks like they will be pretty safe from all the other players here. Pacha. And Cheesy Melt. 
I'm sure, tr I think Cheesy Mel is trying to go get some ammo or something. Unless he wants to go get the abandoned token here. Meanwhile, his teammate is down. Pacha can go for a revive here. If he looks at the map or with Dark Sight, you can see, he'll be able to see if the token carriers are there. But he's still learning the game. Man, why am I going against players that are still learning the game, dude? That's just unfair. I got like 600 hours. Three star MMR because I use Necro. Shots are being fired somewhere. Cheesy Melt. I think he was going to go for that token, but saw that it got picked up by a Tremendous 13. The guy that was playing tower defense, Fortnite style in the tower. It is a pretty safe way to play. He did pretty much get that for free. Honestly, as a solo, sometimes you do want to just play behind people and kind of just chill out for a second and let the game play out, let it breathe for a minute, see what's going on, and then try to make a decision of where you want to go and what, what to do. Because sometimes as a solo, if you just pop a stamina shot and just like go and like try to speed run, and sometimes you'll just kind of like, I'm missing this 13 extracted a bounty token. Great job coming from however I said however you say his name yeah sometimes as a solo it looks like slutty liam neeson and hey it's patrick are gonna be making out with two tokens in the pocket amazing win pacha now getting to his teammate that got popped the level two he is trying to figure out a way to try to get over the fence he sees the area where you can vault over he's gonna move in carefully he doesn't know that the token carriers have left I'm not sure he even knew that they were fighting the token carriers but hey that's no judgment on me they're still trying to learn the game he does use dark side to see if the the lightning was still there so he does know i don't think he just looked at the map though very good job with the revive on uh zaddy dorito he is back up oh what the fuck happened huh zaddy dorito I think he just left the game. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, he just went. <laughs> His body just went back down. He left the game as soon as he got revived. That is hilarious. Wow. He's like, this game's not for me, bro. I'm out. I wonder what else he plays. I totally could stalk his profile. We do a Steam profile review. Oh, yeah. This was the guy that was doing the AFK shit. In the last game of course this is his background profile let's go see what was his name zaddy <laughs> zaddy dorito how could i forget zaddy dorito let's see here five years of service no information given level three he barely plays pc or on steam at least got a couple friends on here cheesy meltbox was his friend <laughs> huh? unfortunately he is cheesy meltbox oh my god and pacha Cheesy Meltbox was probably like, hey, bro, you should get this game and we should play together. Zaddy Dorito deciding, nah, man, fuck you. This game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Unfortunate. Cheesy Meltbox and Pacha, the only ones left on the map. They will not be extracting with anything except one less teammate and some XP. Maybe some hunt dollars, too. Who knows? But they will be making it out alive, Cheesy Meltbox and Pacha. Absolutely having a blast. I'm sure they did. They were in the zone. I saw them. They were locked in. You could tell. They were immersed. That's why I love watching this game. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, what am I watching? Yeah, we'll cut that part out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pacha and Cheesy Meltbox are going to get out alive to save their hunters. Unfortunately, Zaddy Dorito didn't want any part of that extraction. He said, get me out. And that is game over for game three in the series of the European Hunt Showdown Spectating Series. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and, you know, drop a like. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, I got another one popping up on screen right now. And as always, have a great day. Peace.